but in the beginning, you should be networking as much as possible. So Chamber of Commerce, if you can join that, that's usually pretty cheap. It's usually like 100 bucks a year, 120 bucks a year to join. And then that way you can go to their monthly meetings. Some towns even have it to where the network or the chamber meets like once a week. So you can do those. Um, and then you can even have, you'll even get a plaque, which I can actually show you. You'll get a plaque that says member of the Chamber of Commerce. And it's got their, the uh, you know, your name on it or whatever. And that always looks pretty professional whenever people are in your office and they're like oh you're part of the chamber you know and you're like oh yes I'm fancy like that so chamber B&I is another one now that one is a commitment and it is not cheap so that I mean okay it's not that it's super expensive but it's that you know in the beginning I know that your budget is usually pretty tight in the beginning so if you're at the level where you can pay for um, B&I it is a really great tool it is, I think when I did it, it was like 700 for the year. And then I want to say it was like 120 a quarter or something like that. So it's definitely an investment. However, I have made that up well over what I paid to be in BNI because I made great relationships and I still to this day, and I'm not even in BNI anymore. I, I dropped out, I want to say like six months ago, but, and that was purely not because I had anything against BNI, but because my BNI was so early and I had to get up at like six o'clock in the morning. No, I had to get up at 530. Yeah, 530 in the morning. And for those of you that know me, that does not fly with my schedule. I usually work till about 3am. So that was like not working out. And I was exhausted. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. So if you can find a BNI that's like at a good time for your schedule, um, it really is a great, great thing and you just show up and it'll teach you how to talk to people it will teach you it'll make you get up and you'll have like a 30 second prep, uh, pitch that you have to do every week and the whole point of it is to refer business to each other and I really did love it when I went I really did so that's one thing um, okay and then there's also like meetup.com if you can go on that website if you're especially if you're in a big city so if you're in an area where there's a ton of people go on meetup.com and you will find networking groups. You'll just find groups for anything. And don't just do the groups that are like business groups. Join a book club, join a gardening club, join something that you have an interest in because you're naturally going to talk to people about what you do. So it doesn't even matter what kind of meetup it is. The whole point of networking is just to get out and meet people. It doesn't even have to be a business meeting. It can be anything because they're going to ask you, what's your name? What do you do? And then you're going to become, you'll be known as, you know, the one that owns the cleaning business. So get your butt out there. And of course, Facebook groups like that is too easy. There is no excuse for you guys to not be in all of the mom groups, all the local mom groups, um, all of the entrepreneur groups on Facebook that are in your area there's a ton of them I'm sure unless you're literally I mean I'm in the middle of nowhere and I've got at least five so especially if you're in a big city you're gonna have a ton but you can go on Facebook you can search groups you can click on the left and click groups and then you can click explore I believe and then you can say popular near me and then all of the groups that are actually your local groups are gonna pop up join all the mom groups join all of the networking or the entrepreneur groups because they're the ones that's going to let you post like ads and stuff for you to um, market yourself because they're all there for the same reason so they're also going to want to do that that's the whole purpose of those kind of groups now the mom groups are different those you want to be in you want to try to uh, watch for those keywords that pop up like made I, I do four keywords are just made house mess and clean I search those four keywords in all the mom groups every day, and if a conversation pops up that's like, does anybody know a good house cleaner or whatever, then of course that's the opportunity for me to jump in and say magicmaids.org, blah, 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 you know, and that's super easy. I just posted a thing about doing this a couple weeks ago, and one of the girls in my group tried it out, and she did it, and she posted the next day and said she had over 40 estimate requests from one post that she had responded to in one of those uh, local groups. So I was like, that is amazing. So yeah, it totally works and it can just, just completely make your business just off like a rocket. So do that, but get off of your butt and make a name for yourself because people are not going to buy from you if they don't know who you are. So get out there and make a name for yourself.